guys, today I'm reviewing The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. The publisher, Simon & Schuster, was kind enough to send this to me to read and review, and I'm so thrilled that they contacted me because, oh my gosh, like, Morgan Matson is one of my favorite authors. She's my favorite contemporary author, not only as a person, but as a writer. She's just so, so amazing, and I love her book so much. This book, guys, this is my new favorite Morgan Matson book. I'm, I just... Oh. It kind of took me three weeks to read this book, which makes it seem like I didn't love it, but I was currently binge watching Gilmore Girls for the first time and I was addicted to it and I couldn't stop watching and that was while I was reading this unfortunately so this got pushed to the back burner but every time I would read it I loved it so much and I would listen to The Fall and Not Today by Imagine Dragons those are like my songs for this book I would just listen to those two on repeat it's amazing on its own but if you listen to those songs they're just like summary like contemporary songs while reading this it's just like so much better oh my gosh so this video is going to have a spoilery and a non spoilery section and then I will warn you when I start spoiling everything but for now I'm just gonna tell you the plot what I thought of it overall so yeah let's jump into that if you are not aware this book is about a girl named Andy whose mother has died and her father is a politician and so she's often neglected and feels not really loved by him and then her mom dies so it's really sad she just sort of feels alone but she does have these three best friends named Bree, Palmer, and Toby so they are always hanging out together she's basically very much a planner and she likes to plan everything in her life and likes for everything to go according to her plan which is so much like me. I really related to her in that aspect because I'm so much like that. Like, oh my gosh, it's not even funny. But as the book goes on and her summer turns into a direction that she did not see coming, a very unexpected direction, she realizes that it's best to just let life happen and don't worry about planning every single little thing and just take it easy because she's crazy like I am. So basically how her summer turns into a different direction is that she had plans to spend the summer at this camp which is like all about what she loves to do which I'm pretty sure is like, I forget. It's not really mentioned throughout the rest of the novel so I forgot because it was so long ago when I started this. She kind of gets kicked out and so she's not going and so she has to find a summer job so she gets a job dog walking and one of the dog's owners is this guy named Clark. He's literally all of us fangirls dream guy. Like he is a writer and like a bookworm and a nerd and Doctor Who fan and literally just perfection. I don't know about you guys but I totally pictured Dylan O'Brien with glasses while reading about Clark. So he and also Palmer's boyfriend Tom, their group is just so great and she realizes that she needs to just let things go and let life happen and calm down. So that's sort of the overall plot line. It's just so good. Like seriously, all the little moments, you know, it's like their dog sitting and it's the middle of the night and all this stuff. It's just so many scenes that are just so touching and mean so much that are just simple things but one of my favorite scenes you know and so I mean all the characters like they all go through such great development if you have read a Morgan Matson book before or if you have never read a Morgan Matson book just read it I highly 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 recommend also can we just talk about this cover and the spine and the back <laughs> underneath the dust jacket there's another photo, just like in Since You've Been Gone. There's a huge scavenger hunt that happens towards the end of the book that's so fun to read about. There is like this text session going throughout the entire book through like the four friends and one of them is like dared to only text in emojis for the whole summer and so she does and it's just it's really funny and I'll show you like an example. I mean it has like the little emojis and everything it's just the cutest thing ever. So yeah if you have not read this you should leave because I'm about to spoil stuff so I will see you later if you have not read it. Bye! Okay, so like I was saying earlier, but I sort of had to be vague because I didn't want to spoil any scenes. My favorite scene of this book, I think, like, I loved so many of them. I love the ending where she goes there and she tells him that she loves him. And I love how they have, like, their little story going throughout that they talk about. Also, my favorite other scene is when Clark and Andy just have their super awkward date, their first date. And then she goes home and she's like, that was the worst date of my life. So awkward, so awkward. And then he calls her. The dog is sick. And so she runs over there and they end up staying up the whole night just talking and getting to know each other on a deeper level. It's such a good, like, relaxing, like, peaceful but happy scene, and it's so long, too. I loved it. And also, let's just talk about her dad, because at the beginning, I really hated him. I was like, he's neglecting his daughter, he doesn't act like he loves her, and she's all alone, and it's just so cruel. But then, as he sort of gets out of his job more and more, I don't know, his character is revealed to us more, and he gets to know Andy better. His character grew to be one of my favorites, just because he's so funny. I love when he was helping them with the scavenger hunt. He was so great, and you don't expect, like, 
I love when in books a character is so horrible at the beginning and you really don't dislike them and then you keep reading and keep reading and throughout the book it's so seamlessly you just grow to love them because that's really hard to do and she just did it so amazingly well like you don't even realize that you're starting to love this character and also just speaking of all the characters I mean Clark <laughs> Like I said already, literally, can I just marry him? Like, um, and Andy was just not exactly relatable for me. She was kind of did a lot of dumb things. Not to like put myself on a pedestal, but like she kind of, you know, like when she and Clark sort of broke up and then she went off with whatever his name is, that guy who I hate, you know? I was like, girl, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Like I said, the ending was so beautiful with her telling him that she loves him, but it was also heartbreaking in the fact that Bree and Toby's friendship sort of got split up because of the whole boy situation, which was so sad because they were such amazing friends and they were just like this. At the same time, that's very realistic. Like, all books can't end with a happy ending, and while it did end on a happy ending, all the relationships can't be resolved perfectly and beautifully. Like, that's not real life. It was very realistic that their friendship sort of dissolved for a while. They're not really talking, but you know, it implied that they may get back together in the future. Just the book overall, it just made me so happy every time I would pick it up. I would just look forward to it and like listen to my music and it was just such a happy place. So good, guys. And when I first started it and Andy was going to that party, I mean, I'm not a party person, so I, w I was like reading about that. I was like, eh. This is kind of uncomfortable. At first I was like, oh, I might not like this book. Oh no, what if I hate this book? But it's impossible, guys. You cannot hate a Morgan Madsen book. So basically it took me like three and a half weeks to read 300 pages, I'm pretty sure. And then I like binge read the rest of it in one day. I just finished Gilmore Girls and I had a whole day where I was just like, I'm reading today and I'm gonna finish this book. And it was just so good. I love like the book signing again. And like, I love how Andy and Clark's relationship was realistic in the aspect that everything isn't all happening. Happy daisies all the time and they did fight a little bit and they did like not really break up for a while but they sort of did just for like a little bit but then they got back together cuz that's realistic like people fight and then they get back together sometimes they don't but they did and thank goodness for that <laughs> I just thought that everything about this book was so realistic and just deep and meaningful but fun at the same time it's just something about Morgan Madsen's writing she's just like the best contemporary author I've ever read I'm not huge on contemporary I don't read it very often but of the ones I have read like there's nothing like Morgan Madsen's books okay so I really can't think of anything else to talk about I mean I'm sure there's stuff and then there are so many scenes that would be great to discuss but I just I'm blanking every time I film a review I blank but I mean if you've read it we can just gush about it in the comments below so feel free to comment your thoughts down below of course I give this five out of five stars I would have given it more if I could so yeah that is it for this video it may not have been very long I didn't do much discussing oh well I just blanked on everything in the world so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in my next one bye